What's up? Welcome back for some more Animal Crossing. I'm finally back from vacation. Today is June 17th, the day that I will be posting this video. I'm really excited to be back. It was a nice break. I will say that it's been a very stressful pandemic for me. It's awesome just to have this feeling of being reset. Uh, today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. We kind of have been in a wedding slump for a while now. So I decided I want to try to fix up my garden. It's been kind of overrun by plants. It's been raining on my island for the past seven days, so the flowers have kind of been growing like pests. I have lots of fun organizing my garden area a little bit, but also kind of planning out how I want my island to look, exactly what types of flowers and what colors I wanted. So it was really nice to kind of like plan that with you guys. Yeah, I hope you like this video. And if you do hit that like button, let us know that you want to see more videos like this. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I do post every single day. I'll see you in the video. Hello there, everyone. Right now, it is 4.15 on a Wednesday, June 17th. We're finally caught up. It is a new video for the same day. One more thing. The weather report says we're in for a rare treat tonight. <gasps> shooting stars. There you go. Maybe I'll do a video tonight of shooting stars. Yes, we are back. I'm sorry that I missed a day there. Um, not on purpose. Yeah, I was home for the weekend and the Wi-Fi is worse than I thought. Um, I was playing with my sister mostly. Um, she dressed me, which is nice on the drive up here. So today I was thinking that maybe we could do something with flowers. I did get quite a bit of flowers. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. It's actually quite, quite intense about how many different kinds of flowers I got. I wish I had more of like a flowery design for today, but I saw these and I just wanted to do them right away, so. So I saw that this person had a cute orangey orange <laughs> outfit and I was like, oh my God, orange, that's my town. So like, I'm definitely gonna, you know, try it on. But then I also saw that they had the Snow White. They have an apple version. And I was like, oh my God, this person probably has every single type of fruit you can get. So let me check and see if she does. Okay, so she has a, a cherry, cherry. So cute. Is there the other ones as well? I think this is a peachy one. Oh, the peach one's cute. I'm a sucker for anything pink. So yeah, she doesn't have a pear one, but she does have a cherry one, an apple one, a peach one, and an orange one. And I think they're so cute. So yeah, if you want to check this out, and this is Victoria. Victorlim from Unicorny, and this is their curator code if you want to check them out. I think the Snow White one is really cute. I really do need to get like a video of me showing off like all of Sable's designs. I really haven't done a video on Sable in a while. Okay, so wow, this is actually super cute. Um, this is what we're working with. I know it's a mess. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of let them grow wild when it came to water i it was it was storming on my island for i'm pretty sure a week straight and this just kind of happened by itself so it's it's not really what i want so today i decided i'm gonna try to um have the flowers in a position where they will make rare flowers now i already kind of cheated not really cheated but like i already have a couple of rare flower flowers in my pocket like i'm actually full of them um, so yeah, I got a lot of the purple rose plants. Uh, someone on the Animal Crossing Facebook, I just happened to see it really early, um, was giving away a lot of the flowers that he had. As you can see, like, with the, with the brown, with the brown squares here, I kind of already had, like, a set space for them, and they kind of overgrew that to the max. So, I'm definitely going to be using a method that makes them so they have to grow in a certain space and they cannot grow anywhere else. I'm going to need the construction. There's going to be also a lot of construction happening. So, I'm going to do them in squares of four. And then I'm going to have them separated by one line of pathway. Just so that I can use the, you know, as much space as possible. I do have quite a bit of flowers, as you can see. So, I'll pull up, I'll pull up the the guide that i'm using right now to use these to make these flowers with just so that you have an idea of of how i'm thinking i know there's like lots of guides going around but this is the one that i happen to use but yeah i mean it does feel really nice and refreshing to be back and doing another animal crossing video i honestly missed it so much like i did have fun visiting my parents no lie don't get me wrong but like i don't know i think just having 
a routine of doing something really fun every day and like I don't know even if nobody was watching these videos I think I'd still make them you know they're just that much fun so one thing that I really want is the purple hyacinths and also the pink hyacinths I don't think I have any pink hyacinths and I absolutely, I don't know why, but in this game, the color pink is so vibrant and cute. So with the hyacinths, if you have two breed yellow or orange hyacinths, there's a 6% chance it says six, um, that it will produce a purple hyacinth. Awesome, so that's gonna be our purple square. I'm gonna know exactly what I'm trying to get because I'm always gonna put the two flowers that I'm breeding on the same side. So the lower left corner and the upper right corner. That way I know that if there's a flower in the top left corner or the bottom right corner, that's how I know that's gonna be the result. So I can keep taking that one out and watering them and making sure that they do the same flower over and over again, or at least attempt to try. This has a 25% chance of producing a black rose and then on the guide it says that i need a red rose that was bred by purple and orange but i don't have orange yet so i cannot do that and then i can take this yellow rose i'm also gonna try so, so for my roses obviously the goal is to get the rarest one which is the blue rose which i think is beautiful um, so in order to get the blue rose, I need a specially bred red rose. And that red, red, red rose has to come from a purple rose, which I have. And then it also has to come from an orange rose, which I don't have, but I have the means of making an orange rose. I have a 50% chance of getting an orange rose if I use a yellow rose and a red rose, which I guess makes sense. Um, of course, it would be better if I used um, a black rose and, an, and a yellow rose, which would 100% make an orange rose. But I don't have a black rose on me, so we're gonna do that. And whoever comes up first will adjust will adjust the garden appropriately. Hello, pansies. Where is the red one of you? Oh well, I'll have to wait till Leaf makes a comeback. I have a yellow cosmos. Uh, I guess I just have a yellow cosmos. No other cosmos in the building. Hmm. I really should have thought this through when I was on his island. Okay, cool. This is easy. I can do this. We can make a pink windflower by, oh sorry, a regular pink windflower. There's a regular one and then a rare one. So we have the capabilities to do that by having a red windflower and an orange windflower to make a pink, regular pink windflower. Oop, that's not where I want that. To make a special red windflower, I'm actually gonna make another one of a windflower. I need the red windflower and a blue windflower. And that's gonna make a special red windflower. Because there's apparently for the windflowers, there's multiple ways you can try to get the purple, the rare purple windflower. Yeah, so we don't really have that much else that we can do. Um, another cool reason why you would want rare, rarer flowers is because they bring rarer bugs. So I definitely want to try to capture all of the bugs possible. I don't think I see anybody new today. I got all these bugs beforehand. But yeah, let me try to make some more pink cosmos. I'm really glad that I'm starting this up because I feel like my garden was honestly just, well, it is still a hot mess. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching me kind of get my life together in the garden aspect. I kind of have been ignoring this problem, um, but it's almost become too much of an issue now that it's been raining every day. Or at least it was raining every day except for today. Um, they're definitely growing at a faster rate than I can handle. So I'm gonna try to make uh, my island have kind of a idea with the color coding that it's gonna have. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen to all of these flowers when they come up, um, especially the pink mums. I think the, or yeah, are these the mums? Yeah, I think the pink mums are the cutest. Um, but also I would love to have like a black or gold rose. That's really exciting. Um, but yeah, that's all for me and I will see you guys in the next one.